They've sunk an enemy destroyer. Hey team, it's Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic today. I have an unbelievable build, fun game, ridiculous, uh, almost annoying uh, gameplay that <laughs> you'll want to want to see if you really like the vampire, you want to try it out, or if you're thinking about getting it, but I was just sitting around thinking one day, let me try out this build. This is like a full gunboat build, annoying, harassing vampire, whatever you want to call it, blood sucking, whatever this is. It is ridiculous, and I have to show you the, the gameplay, the tactics, but before we begin, on our way to a thousand subscribers i know it's small we're having fun here but just that's all we're doing we're having fun learning about a lot of great things and building a community but i uh, really appreciate all the support and can't thank you guys enough so let's get right into it so let's talk about the vampire if you don't know what the vampire is the vampire is a research bureau ship that uh you get in the armory a little bit difficult to get, but we're gonna see some of the gameplay right now action it is like a daring except minus uh, one set of torpedoes and really really fast guns. So let's get into the action right off the bat before I go into the build You see the look at the reload rate we have on this build like literally a Fearless brawler 1.7 gun reload the Holland is now literally just kiting away Which is exactly what you're supposed to do uh, Just like we're doing we're gonna kite away juke the throttle a little bit and kind of throw off the shots and just kind of aim slightly above you know the angle where he's going this kind of lead those shells where he's going to be we're going to keep the, the crosshair right in front of them keep on putting on the shells remember our dpm out exceeds you know the holland so we can do this we can just keep exchanging the amount of gunfire he has now you also have to think about he's got torpedoes so again tactic is pop hydro hydro will at least help me spot the torpedoes he launches and we're going to go ahead and kite away from the holland so that is exactly what you're supposed to do there holland did a great job mitigating damage to use his heels now here's where the, this build gets ridiculous okay so we have an iowa right here look what we're doing we're in our crawling smoke which means you got to be at quarter speed you're going to see on the throttle there yellow numbers right where it gets white that is when you can start driving at quarter speed and be hidden the whole time. And we're just going to harass this Iowa. Watch his DPM. We're at we're currently 24,000 damage right now, 16 minutes into the game. Watch how much deep, uh, or HP we take off using this style of gameplay and build. Remember, we're just a DD. We're supposed to be the one spotting, torping, and doing all the whatnot. We're not supposed to be the one putting all the damage out there. Uh, we're also be, supposed to be the ones taking a lot of that potential damage and a lot of the heat off of our team. But this is exactly what this build does. In the, the uh, I would say, fourth row of the commander build, I went for the range mod. Uh, so I kind of said, screw uh, the concealment. You don't need it. Because look, I got a 6.5 concealment with this build. It's kind of like the druid. And uh, ooh, here come the torpedoes. That's why hydro popping up in smoke is very, very important key and driving away from threat. So again, putting the range mod, no concealment, I don't need it. 6.5 is decent enough for what we're doing here. We're doing long range shooting. Uh, we're trying to weed thin out the herd, if you will. And then we're also gonna launch torpedoes in that direction. And we have a fast fire reload rate and a fearless brawler. So the fearless brawler comes into play when we, we you saw what we did there. Earlier, we were just open water gunboating and we're gonna open water gunboat again once our smoke runs out. The smoke was literally just more of a, hey, I gotta get out of Dodge, kind of I messed up and I, I get a get out of jail free card. But look at this, this Iowa literally went down to 2,000 health with the, the support of our team and we start a fire. 
Uh, that's a permafire right there, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to go ahead and stop firing at him. We're going to pick a different target now so we can start another fire and get that DPM going. The more and more DPM you get off the table of the, the, the enemy team, your team also gets to exceed. There goes the Iowa right there. Your team also gets to take whittle down their ships, take away their HP, slow their advance, and that's what we're doing. You notice that we're the ones in front still, even though our submarine's there, we're the ones literally dishing out the hate. Now watch, notice something really important here. You're gonna notice all the ships start shooting at me because why? I'm the biggest threat for some reason. Uh, I am a small little target putting out this much damage. That tells you that this is a fearless, uh, just like it says, fearless brawler. A really a force to be reckoned with because everybody is going, what is shooting in the smoke? What is this little destroyer sh dealing out this much hate? And that's exactly what we're doing. We're, we're becoming this big, big threat to stop the advance of their airship. Again, if you don't know what airship is, the circles on the map are the airships. You're supposed to either get inside of them or get inside of the enemy one, and you're supposed to basically push it forward. Whoever gets to the finish line wins. That's uh, airships in a nutshell. Now look, at I'm starting fires again. Now the vampire is very, very good at starting fires. That's why I like this. The amount of firepower you're putting down range is the, uh, the, the I would say the factor, the multiple factor or the multiplier of setting fires on a lot, a lot of ships. Now look at that, the GK fired at us. We have Ohio's, we have Burgonia's, we have Montana's, at, but no, they decide to fire and elect shoot at us, which means we are a threat to be de to dealt with or reckoned with. And now you see the Montana is now being forced to push forward, uh, the enemy Montana that is, and then the GK is also pushing forward. So what we're gonna do is take advantage of this and we're gonna go ahead and continuously angle away, making us a very slim profile, harder target, maximizing the angle of our guns, throttle juking right now you see i'm going reverse forward reverse forward becoming an unpredictable target right there and look see those shells are missing they're shooting at them which means they wasted a shot on us great for our team more time for our team to shoot at back at them that's exactly what we want to do we want to be a threat to the enemy to waste their shots to help our team out to spot to torp to get everybody to start shooting and coordinating to fire on one target we're supposed to be focus firing here but since the gk is almost dead i'm going to go ahead and focus and see if i can get another fire going right here look at this reload rate we're fearless power going we got a 1.6 ish reload which is ungodly for a kind of a daring style three gun turret uh, ship and we start another fire right there look the shells are all over the place dispersion not the greatest i get it but look what the amount of puff the magic dragon we're, we're putting out here this is amount of the amount of hate and lead we're putting down range is incredible again gk fires just his two four guns at us wasting his shots and look at that our potential damage up to seven hundred thousand. montana is debating does he shoot at us or just shoot a big battleship coming right at him so we're going to go ahead and keep firing and there's another fire get that gk burning down again again more so also shooting at us Holland is off into the distance. Our other team in the Northwest is slowly trying to contest our airship, doing the same thing we're doing. And let's see if we can eliminate this team on this flank as soon as possible so that we can get uh, our get back to and supporting our team to the West. So Montana is pushing. I elect not to shoot at him. So again, we got to save our smoke. Look, we're open water gunboating. This is something that I really encourage people to do. I mean, gets you better, makes you better. It gets people shooting at you, so your team is really just uh, not getting shot at, if you will. And we're distracting the rest of the enemy for our team and assisting them in that in the in that regard. And that's exactly why I like it. Plus, I mean, I think it's cheap shooting the smoke all the time. It's not fun. I enjoy, you know, oh, okay, I would say challenging other ships to shoot at me and say, hey, can, how how good can we get this? How how much DPM can we put down range? How much potential damage can we get? And let's see, can we get that GK going down? And there it is, our first kill. Splash one, RIP, back to Porty. 147,000 damage. The amount of hits we did right there. We're going to launch a spread of torpedoes. Again, only one set of torpedoes. They're 12 kilometers. They're daring torpedoes. They pack okay of a punch, but you only got one. Now we're going to switch to AP, full broadside ship. Now watch, the AP on the Vampire, like the Daring, is incredible. British AP is ridiculously powerful. Like we're taking about 1,000 to 1,300 off of him right there. We're trying to see if we can mitigate his repair, shooting as much as we can on the Montana. And then once he starts angling away, we're going to get ready and shoot HE shells to start a fire. So we're hoping our Mon other Montana, our fellow Montana, can hopefully take out this Montana. And that would help us out a great deal because we have five ships over here to our two. Look at how much hate we're putting on this flank. There's, they've got five ships to our two and we're still holding their advance as best we can. We just need to have our team on the Northwest side get their our, our, um, our uh, airship going. Great job, Montana. Takes out our Montana. That's one less battleship to worry about. Now we're gonna go ahead and focus on the G carry here. 
I don't think I can take on the secondaries right now. Secondaries seem to have been buffed, which I love. I love the fact that the secondaries are powerful again. I don't think we can take on the GK secondary because they are deadly and they are accurate. So we're going to go ahead and pop smoke, go to a quarter speed, and go to a crawl. And we're just going to harass this GK, go take as much damage as we can to build and buy time for our Montana to the southeast right here. If we can take out this GK right here, it will slow down the airship. A great job on our team right there taking out the... Musashi and Marceau, that again alleviates a great deal of uh, enemy threats to us right here. If we take out this GK, we could have a chance to come back and stop the advance of this airship. If we get inside the enemy airship, it slows it down even more. You notice that they have a guy in our airship and they have one in theirs. It accelerates their airship to 30 knots at the top of the screen there. You can see it, three arrows. We have no arrows. That means we have to do something about this pesky GK and we're losing teammates faster than we can kill uh, the enemy right here. So let's see if he takes a shot. Yep, he takes a shot. He should not have taken a shot right there. I would encourage people, hey, he has a G he has six kilometer hydro. He should have just rushed me. I think he made a mistake right there. Again, that's his call. Uh, he thinks he's got more advantage. Ooh, we take out another one, Colbert, and takes out two in one. That is awesome right there. Way to go, Colbert. Awesome, awesome job right there. Now we just got to burn and do our part and take out this GK. We start one permafire right there. Let's see if we can get this thing down to at least 5,000 health and then we, maybe we can pop out of the smoke and get him out of the game. We're going to start creeping forward because we know as soon as we kill this guy, we got to rush into their airship. I mean, you got to be thinking ahead what's going on in the, in the advancement of the game. So keep situational awareness, turning towards the GK now. Now we're exposed. Fearless Brawler is active now. And that is a good thing. Let's see if we can keep it going. Okay, GK goes down. Great job. Yep, that was a splash two. RIP back to 40 for us. 230,000 damage right now. What can we do to get this game back? Can we, can we win this? We're going to have to charge the Des Moines, and hopefully the Holland is off into the distance right now. So we are doing our best right here, ladies and gentlemen, to get the, keep the game uh, going in our favor right here. So let's get going. And people are saying thank you for us. Yeah, they think it's a daring, but nope. It is a full-on ferocious vampire. Oh, we get spotted right here. Now we got to figure out where is this... We got the 360 gun, so we can keep him forward. There it is. There is the Holland right there. He's got more HP than we do, so we're going to go ahead and switch to AP. Get that nice, juicy broadside. AP is deadly, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. The AP literally uh, does so much damage. And now, here it is, kicks in the AR and the Fearless Brawler. The uh, Holland probably is regretting for what he did right now as we're pouring on the hate. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Can we get it? Switching AP for Angle Destroyer right there. He's doing the best he can. He's doing... That's right. He did all he could. And Splash 3. RP back to 40. Can we kill this? Des Moines. Do we have the time? We have 7 seconds. Full broadside. Do these shells hit on target? Uh, and they don't get there. Oh my gosh. 251,000 damage with this build incredible incredible this thing is a monster so anyways that's airships with vampire 2 number one on the team hope you guys like this video like subscribe bell button below let me know what your thoughts about you think of this build and hey if you got it try it out as well if you haven't gotten the vampire definitely recommend it but anyways hope you guys are being safe out there we'll see you guys on the high seas cheers